a particle having a charge of 10 micro coulomb charge <coughs> charge is equal to 10 micro coulomb that is equal to 10 into 10 to the power minus 6 coulomb or charge is equal to 10 to the power minus 5 coulomb and mass mass is equal to 20 milligram is equal to 20 into 10 to the power minus 6 kg this is mass mass projected with a velocity velocity is equal to 2 kilometer per second is equal to 2 into 10 to the power 3 2 into 10 to the power 3 meter per second this is a velocity and magnet field is equal to 1 k 1 kilo tesla that is 10 to the power 3 tesla it is given now find the radius of the circle to find the radius of the circle as it is we know centripetal force centripetal force is equal to magnetic force this this we cancel r is equal to mv by q into b so we can find out r is equal to m v and divided by q into b so r is equal to mass mass is equal to 20 into 10 to the power minus 6 kg mass into velocity is equal to 2 into 10 to the power 3 meters per second and charge is equal to 10 to the power minus 5 and magnetic field is equal to 10 to the power b tesla therefore r is equal to 20 into 2 40 into 10 to the power minus 6 plus 3 plus 5 minus 3 these, these get cancelled are these and this we can cancel it this is going this is equal to 40 into 10 to the power minus 1 is equal to 40 divided by 10 is equal to 4 meter the radius is equal to 4 meter now is asking find the time period so we have to find out the time period see as we know the time period is equal to total distance because the body is moving in a circular path that's why a radius is given so total path is circumference or distance is circumference of one so radius circumference of one circle that is 2 pi r divided by velocity time period is equal to distance by velocity or uh, this is equal to 2 pi by v where the value of r is equal to mv by qb so v we, we can cancel therefore time period is equal to 2 pi m divided by qb therefore time period is equal to 2 pi into mass mass of the particle is equal to 20 into 10 to the power minus 6 kg and charge of the particle is 10 to the power minus 5 into b magnetic field b is equal to 10 to the power 3 so 20 20 is equal to 40 pi this we have taken 40 pi into 10 to the power minus 6 plus 5 minus 3 is equal to 40 pi into it will come in second minus 1 to 10 to the power of minus 4 second or 4 pi into 4 into 10 10 to the power minus 3 second so this is the time period and frequency linear frequency is equal to 1 by t is equal to 1 by 4 pi into 10 to the power minus 3 hertz and angular frequency is equal to 2 pi into linear frequency is equal to 2 pi frequency is 1 by time period is equal to 2 pi into 1 by t time period is equal to 2 pi into 1 by time period is equal to q b by 2 pi m so q b by m so putting all the value we can get the value a magnetic field of 8k 
सो मैग्नेटिक फील्ड इज इक्वल टू एट के टेस्ला इट मीन्स इट इज मूविंग इन पॉजिटिव इज अट डायरेक्शन एक्सट ए फोर्स एक्सट ए फोर्स ऑफ एट आई कैप प्लस सिक्स जे कैप न्यूटन ऑन ए पार्टिकल हैविंग चार्ज एंड चार्ज ऑफ द पार्टिकल इज इक्वल टू टू कोलम एंड गोइंग इन एक्स वाई प्लेन इट मीन्स इट मूव्स इन एक्स वाई प्लेन मूव्स इन एक्स वाई प्लेन सी इफ इट इज मूविंग इन एक्स वाई प्लेन एक्स वाई प्लेन इट द वेलासिटी विल बी लाइक दिस इट मीन्स इट विल हैव मैग्नेट्यूड इन एक्स डायरेक्शन प्लस इट विल हैव मैग्नेट्यूड इन वाई डायरेक्शन सो वेलासिटी वैक्टर इज इक्वल टू वी एक्स आई कैप प्लस वी वाई जे कैप मीटर पर सेकेंड वेलासिटी नाउ फोर्स वैल्यू इज ऑल्सो गिवन नाउ लेट एस फाइंड आउट फ्रॉम द लॉरेंस फोर्स मैग्नेटिक फोर्स इन वैक्टर फॉर्म इज इक्वल टू क्यू इन टू वेलासिटी वैक्टर क्रॉस प्रोडक्ट ऑफ वेलासिटी वैक्टर एंड मैग्नेटिक फील्ड वैक्टर क्यू इज इक्वल टू टू कोलम एंड दिस वी विल टेक इन क्रॉस प्रोडक्ट वी कैन टेक फॉर एवेलुएटिंग वी कैन टेक मैट्रिक्स फॉर्म दैट इज आई कैप जे कैप के कैप this is unit vector so long x y is the direction and the velocity is v x it has got x component it has got y component it has got zero in the z component and magnetic field magnetic field is given in the z direction only that is s s and it is 8 because this is the magnitude in is positive z direction so we can say what we want we find the velocity of the particle so once evaluating the force magnet what is the force force is equal to as it is given 8 i cap plus 6 j cap is equal to 2 into on evaluating this and this 8 v y minus 0 8 y minus i cap j cap will become plus sorry this will be minus j cap minus j cap because for the second one minus 8 vx 8 vx 8 vx 8 vx in 0 plus k cap k cap into 0 0 so 0 so we can so we can write 8 i cap plus 6 j cap Is equal to 16 v y i cap the minus minus 8 v y j cap and the component this is equal to zero. Comparing this one, this and this, 16 v y is equal to 8. That means v y. the magnitude of velocity in the y direction is equal to 8 by 16 is equal to half meter per second comparing this and this 16 vy is equal to 8 comparing this and this 16 vx is equal to 6 or vx is equal to 6 by minus 16 Minus three divided by eight, minus three by eight meter per second. So v x v vector velocity vector can be written as v x i cap plus v y j cap plus v z into k cap. Since this portion is not there, we can say the velocity vector is equal to v x. Is equal to v x is equal to minus three by eight i cap plus v y v y is equal to half into j cap in the x y in the y direction and this portion is zero so meter per second this is all.